guys, today we're going to be making a chicken for a chicken salad in my Instapot. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I have now, I've seasoned this whole chicken and what I'm going to do is I am going to use, I like this stuff, I came across it, it is lemon Myers olive oil. So I put some in there, just about a tablespoon in there and I turned my pot on saute and I waited till it got hot and now it's cooled off again but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So all I'm going to do, my, I seasoned it with some Mrs. Dash no salt, the um, herb and garlic and then I put some pepper and a little bit of salt and some lemon pepper on there and we're going to saute this brown it some before we put it in there to cook so just a second and all I'm going to do is brown it and like I said that's on the saute mode and when it gets to hot you're supposed to put it in and I'm going to let it cook for about three minutes or four minutes on this side. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how, how um, brown it's getting on the side. Oops, other side. Okay, guys, I have flipped my chicken and it's been cooking again for another three or four minutes on the other side. And now you always have to add like a cup of water. But I like, since I'm making some chicken, I want to use the chicken stock. So I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock to this. And I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon juice because it just kind of cooks through that chicken and it's really good. And we're going to come around here and we're going to turn this off of the saute now. It's on off. Now I'm going to hit manual. My chicken is 5.25 pounds. So I'm going to put it up to 47 minutes. While this is doing this, if y'all like this, make sure that you comment, like, subscribe. 47 minutes is what it's going to do, okay? So I'm going to take my top here. And I'm going to put it on. Okay? And I'm going to turn this to seal. We're not going to vent while we're doing this. And see, it came on. So now what it's going to do is it's going to build up the pressure. And that'll take probably 15 minutes. And then it will cook for the 47 minutes. And when it's through, I'm going to come back to you and show you. Because after that, I'm going to peel, I'm going to debone the chicken. And then I'm going to put the bones and everything in here. And I'm going to make some chicken broth out of this so that I could use my own stock instead of buying it. So we're going to do this and come back to you and let you see what the what it, do, what it uh, does at the end here. Okay, the chicken has now cooked. It's in the keep warm mode. And the little pressure thingamajiggy has gone down so now we can open it if I go ahead and I put it on venting there's not gonna be any steam coming out so at that point we can turn it pick it up and open it and stick it in there right there and boy that one did cook <laughs> it really cooked down huh I'm gonna take this out so I'll show you golly But this is kind of the way I wanted it for the um to do chicken salad, say, because I want it to be moist. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna debone all of this and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you because I'm just gonna make chicken salad out of this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the bones and I am gonna make a chicken stock. I'm gonna make my own chicken stock out of this. So it'll be the first time I ever made it, but it can't be that hard. I'm thinking I could probably do this, so I'm fixing to do that. So, and that is it for cooking a chicken. Okay, guys, I have went ahead and I deboned my chicken, and I have that with the, the skin and everything, the bones, the skin, and just some of the little hard pieces that was in there in the pot. And I'm going to put two bay leaves in here. I'm going to put a quartered onion in here. And you're supposed to put two um, carrot sticks in there, but I didn't have any carrot sticks. So I'm going to add these to it. 
and you're supposed to put two celery sticks. So I'm doing that also. Into the pot it goes. And I don't have any garlic cloves, so I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic in there and I'll just strain that out also. Okay. And then we're going to put about a teaspoon. Well, it says, this one says about a tablespoon, I think. No, a teaspoon. You're right. I'm right. A teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And eight cups of water. And after I get through doing this, I'm going to turn it on. And you're not supposed to do it past two-thirds full. And... All right, that's it. I think. I think I kind of lost count. Now come around here and I'm going to show them. All I'm going to do now is I am going to put my lid on. I have everything in there. I'm going to put my lid on. Sometimes these lids are a pain in the behind. I'm going to seal it. I'm going to do it to manual, and we want 30 minutes. And we're going to let it cook. Shoot. Shoot. Sorry about that, y'all. 30 minutes, and then it's going to come on. And then I'm going to let it release underneath the natural pressure, and then I'm going to come back to you, and we're going to see what it looks like. I'm going to strain it, and we're going to see if we have our, our stock which we should, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to cook. So I'll come back to you in 30 minutes and let you know what's going on. Okay, guys, it is through. Let's see what this looks like now. What I'm going to do with this is tomorrow I am going to make a bean soup out of this concoction. <laughs> but right now what I'm going to do is I am going to, hmm, it's kind of thin. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it in the strainer, but it's going to take two people to do it. So what I'm going to do, if you want me to show you how I'm going to do the bean soup tomorrow that I'm going to use this for, just comment below. Let me know what you want me to do. Um, I am going to just strain this and put it in the refrigerator. It's got to sit in there for till in the morning till it completely comes to a cool. And then we will go ahead and make something out of this. But let me know if you want to know how I'm doing the bean soup. Good night, guys.